My name is Wendy Mitchell. I have two daughters. This is a picture of us on a day out on holiday in Spain. It's rare to have one of us together, as I was always taking the photos. So this one is very special, as it was such a happy holiday. But unlike some families, I know the day will come when I don't recognise my wonderful daughters and what makes them so special. I was diagnosed with young onset Alzheimer's. Excuse me for reading my words, but if I don't, I'll simply get distracted and start talking about anything and everything. I worked in the NHS for 20 years. I'd always been renowned for a brilliant memory. I didn't forget, but my memory started to let me down badly. The worst episode was at work. I came out of my office one day and just didn't know where I was or who all the voices around me belonged to. When I actually received the diagnosis, I was bizarrely relieved as it put an end to all the uncertainties. I was a very private person before dementia but was so shocked at the lack of awareness and understanding that I'm now willing to shout from the rooftops. I write a daily blog called Which Me Am I Today? As my memory fails me more, so the blog has become a place where I can save all those special memories of events, thoughts and feelings. My other special place is my spare room. This I call my memory room. Whenever I go into that room, I know by looking at the pictures that they'll bring a smile to my face. Despite how my life has changed over the past year, I try my best to remain a very positive person. You can still live positively and independently if you accept that changes need to be made. People often ask me, what's it like? Well, every day is different. Most of my days at present are fair to middling. But on bad days, it's like a fog descends on the brain and confusion reigns. My way of dealing with these moments is to tell myself, it's not me, it's the disease. Imagine a bookcase as tall as me. It's a cheap, mass-produced, flat-pack bookcase. This bookcase is full of books that contain my factual memory. My top shelf holds very recent books, such as what I had for breakfast this morning. But my shoulders are books from my 50s and by my knees are books from my 20s until you get down to my feet where there are books from my childhood. Dementia rocks my bookcase side to side and the books fall from the top shelf first. So what I think is my most recent memories will come from further down the bookcase earlier in my life. From what I've said so far, you may think a person with dementia loses everything, but actually I've only shown you one part of the brain so far. There is another part of the brain, which you can picture as a separate bookcase. This bookcase is sturdy. This is my emotional bookcase. When dementia rocks this bookcase, side to side. It's stronger and more resistant. So the contents will be safe for longer. Even though I may forget that my friends or family visited me recently because that book comes off my factual bookcase. What stays with me are the feelings I had of love, happiness and comfort. 
I may forget what we did, what we spoke about, or that you popped by. But I know that I feel safe and happy when I see you. So please don't ever stop visiting me.